Hi. So it was brought to my attention recently that I didn't do any of the um, makeup or beauty or lifestyle videos that I said that I was going to do in my first video. This just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, don't say things if you don't plan to do them because I was totally going to just. <laughs> but, um,. I'm gonna do something for you. The reason that I didn't do it before is because I just feel like if there's so many makeup artists on YouTube that I learn most of what I know from anyway. And also there's um Beijing beauty bloggers like Zoe Allen B and Hero Konda that y'all could watch. But you know, I I said I'd do it and I'm going to do it because I guess I can. I guess I can. So the way I need to know about my skin is combination skin with normal and dry so therefore moisture is very important to me apart from that pretty normal skin I have like scars scarring here like actual scarring not like acne scars but scar scars what do you call I don't know so I just gonna jump right into it Okay, so the first thing that I do with my makeup is I do my brows, my struggle brows. <laughs> I'll use an e.l.f. spoolie brush and I just brush them on out. And then I go with my NYX pencil in dark brown. I love this pencil. I know a lot of people use it like brow gels and dip brow. And, but I really just love my NYX pencils or NYX whichever one you choose to call them and basically I just line the bottom first and then the top and then I fill it in with sharp strokes so that it looks like here a lot of people ask me how I get my brows to look so thick but they just naturally have hair I don't know I'm sorry if I couldn't give you the potion now I'm gonna use my sleek concealer palette and I'm gonna use that middle color. I believe that this palette is in dark, which is kinda of unbelievable because look at that color. Honestly, if you're darker than me, it's really no use of this. I mean, maybe for highlight. But um, yeah, so you just clean up the bottom, the bottom line so it makes it more sharp, more precise. And I'm using an e.l.f. <laughs> I love e.l.f. brushes, e.l.f. concealer brush to do that and then you just blend you blend you blend for your life baby girl you blend for your life i don't need to say how important blending is i mean <laughs> everyone says it and just you know you blend to where you feel comfortable if you still want a little like you know i still like a little highlight you know you don't just don't blend it all the way out <laughs> but blend to your liking I prefer blending with my fingers because I feel as though fingers are the best way to blend things out to just do everything. I also prefer eating with my fingers, but that's another story. I forgot my moisturizer. <laughs> this is a simple daily moisturizer. And as it says, it's just simple. Normally I use Ole 7 Effects or Neutrogena, visibly even, but this is what I had at hand, and this is very lightweight. I like lightweight stuff because I don't really like things on my face. So I was dancing to Bambi, <laughs> listening to Soka as usual. Going with my LA Pro Conceal in beautiful bronze, yeah gonna cover up any spots so that scar by my mouth I don't know what I saw there but I probably saw something and just like a couple bumps on my forehead I don't really attempt to cover my whole scar I mean I accept that it's there it's not going nowhere and it don't really bother me that much anymore oh uh, just put in that same concealer that I used um, for my eyebrows on my mouth area to make it a little brighter you could also use it's better to use a color corrector a, 
also for on the a bags which people keep telling me i'm imagining but who cares you can use the orange corrector from LA Girl Pro Conceal. I haven't gotten to use that as yet because they don't sell it here in the UK. But I plan to buy one. No, my Clinique um, sample from Selfridges. <laughs> I don't remember what is this exact foundation. But I really, really like it. I really really like it. It's a bit yellow, but again, you know how them is on for the darker skin tones. But when it um sets, it's actually not so so yellowy. It is a bit, but not too bad that I look like world boss. Oh, this is a real technique. Um face brush that I'm using. I really love this. I, it blends really, really smoothly. It doesn't look like foundation-y. It doesn't look cakey. It just blends out everything so well. Appreciative. I'm not going to use a lighter color in that concealer palette to do my under eye highlight and to highlight my nose and chin and forehead. Y'all know those triangles. Try not to take it too far up to the waterline because then when you blend it all oh, it's going to go further up you don't really want to have all of that creasage going on i'll use people use a ring finger <laughs> i use my middle finger because i just rude and a bad girl does use the middle finger that don't sound good that's not real bad anyway so just tap <laughs> the product into the skin and you want to tap in and outward you can shape your your highlight according to how you want your face to be like my face is very slim so i can afford to carry it out further which you'll see me do in a minute because it's very slim it's very narrow face if you have a big face then you will want a different concealer shape like just do it in a a half moon under your eye wait for my real techniques beauty blender which is dirty make sure your stuff is clean and now just some setting powder from that same concealer palette i'm not really too fussy on like you know ben Nye or sasha i just need a little setting powder i don't really care what it is Back with my trusty knit pencil in dark brown so I wanted to do a liner but I didn't want it to be too prominent so that's when I use brown instead of black So I did my waterline and then laying the top, did a little dance, you gotta do a little dance. Mascara. This is Benefit, the real mascara. Now normally I have a whole mascara process, so I would use mascara to separate mascara to lengthen, mascara to thicken, because the truth is that I really just can't use um, I can't get eyelashes put on, but I can learn. So I come back with my e.l.f. stippling brush and my NARS blush palette, which I love, which was expensive and dear, but I love it. I forget my face powder. So, <laughs> this is MAC Skin Finish, Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep. I don't really like a lot of this because I don't want it to look cakey. It's very important for me for my makeup to look natural. Right, back to the blush. I love a blush. It gives such color to the face, just brings back such dimension. And I don't contour because then I look like a dude. <laughs> I 
I know we're going back in with orgasm for a highlight. I really was going for a real peachy look, so I was just all about the pinks, all about the pinks. All on the highest points of your face, your nose, top of your brow, your chin, cheekbones. I'm one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Re re woo. If you don't have, I can't even say go and get it. I don't think it's limited edition, so I don't think it really sells anymore. But this is just like a perfect red with this blue undertone. Sorry about my whole open mouth lipstick application thing going on. Sorry. That's just how I do it, man. That's just how I do it. You rub those lips together, girl. And that's it. Fleeky. Normally, I would put on, like, um, setting spray. But I don't have... I don't know where mine is. I don't know where any of my products are in England. So now I'm just doing the whole uh, YouTuber thing that I see everyone doing. look I feel like if I did this makeup better than I did it for Red Bull but this is my Red Bull look for Red Bull Culture Clash that I went to last week and yeah it's supposed to be kind of Instagram body kind of thing so I didn't really want anything on my eyes um yeah just a hot red I love a red lipstick so thanks for watching and if you like this thumbs up and encourage me to do more of these because if I ain't sure, I can just keep it out. <laughs> but thanks, guys. Subscribe for more videos. And I'm gonna go and shoot this week's music vlog right now. <laughs>